Your ability to run a business has a bigger impact on your odds of success than your talent does. Your music is your product, though, so don't think you can cut corners. Even the best business can't sell a subpar product. It's time to think of your band as a business. You are the founder of a startup. You're starting from zero and working to create something of value that people will pay money for. Your band as a brand is a podcast established to bring bands, brands, and businesses together to help independent artists grow and scale their business in the music industry. My name is David, and over the past 10 years, I have played various roles in the music industry, including touring musician, artist manager, tour manager, marketing director, concert promoter, and more. My goal is to leave readers and listeners informed and inspired by the stories and strategies shared by our guests. I'm also going to share some of my personal experiences and I will be speaking to those of you who are looking to pursue music as a full-time career. I will be speaking to a variety of professionals inside and outside the music industry to provide insight on what I believe to be the six core principles of growing a band as a business. The first principle is writing and recording great songs. What makes a great song is subjective, although there are some important steps you can take to make sure your setup for success. The first is finding a great producer. Start with someone within your budget, but do not sacrifice quality for quantity. Being prepared with lots of ideas and being well rehearsed will save you time and money. Expect to spend about $500 to $1,000 for a quality recorded song. If you are starting out with no budget, reach out to the local recording school and see if there are students looking for bands to record. Secondly, co-write with other artists. Writing with other artists is the best way to sharpen your skills and learn new writing strategies. When you're in the studio, remember that you're looking for the best idea, not your idea. And thirdly, write a lot. There's no way around it. You will need to write a lot of songs to find your best songs. Stay inspired by experimenting with different sounds and styles early on. Don't limit yourself. Try using writing exercises both written and musically. Write the verse first. Write the chorus first. Take a song you've written and try to rewrite it. Write a story and then create the lyrics from the story. Or make a list of words or phrases related to the idea or the feeling you're trying to capture. Find a song you love and let it influence your next song. Remember, imitate, don't copy. The second core principle is designing and marketing your brand. How do people feel when they listen to your music? What themes can be found in your music or lyrics? Developing a brand can be hard. Coming up with a band name is your first hurdle. If you found a good one, consider yourself lucky. Creating album art that unites a collection of songs is easier said than done. And I encourage you to have multiple logos designed. Don't just go with the first one and don't let a tight budget be the reason you use a poor logo for a year or longer. We will talk with branding professionals from designers to publicists about how to create a product that looks great and accurately reflects the brand you are looking to create. Hear from advertisers and product marketing teams about the strategies they use to build new audiences and drive revenue. The third core principle is building the right team. You will want to find a manager, a marketer, and an agent in that order. An effective manager should be able to help you find the other two. But first and foremost, you will need to find a lawyer more specifically an entertainment lawyer, to ensure 
all of your deals are safe and sound. For the first 6 to 12 months of being a band, you may not need a manager. Learn basic marketing skills and how to book your own shows. Take this time to create your vision and set your goals. Once you find a manager, they should be able to help you create a business plan to accomplish these goals. An artist manager should be focused on increasing your revenue and seeking out opportunities for bigger, better shows. Managers will typically be paid on a 10 to 15% commission, which keeps them motivated to make you money. I encourage you to avoid paying a retainer. As you build your team, remember this is your business. Only hire people you can trust representing your brand. The fourth core principle is playing bigger, better shows. Whether your goal is to play for thousands of people at a music festival or a hundred people at your local dive bar, take time to picture it in your mind. Think about what your definition of success is. What will it look like? We'll discuss how to make this vision a reality. Your goal should be to make genuine connections with local venues, promoters, and other bands. If you want promoters to give you bigger opportunities with national acts, you will need to learn how to build a local audience and find creative ways to get people to your show. Be engaged in the local music scene to build support, deliver a great performance, and above all, be consistent. Be punctual, respectful, and give your fans a positive experience that they will remember. The fifth core principle is getting your show on the road. Prior to the adoption of streaming, touring was the best way to build an audience. It's a dream for many bands and still a great way to grow your fan base. But now, you will need an audience before you tour. Many agents won't sign a band without a fan base, and landing an agent is your best way to get your show on the road. With that said, you may need to take action into your own hands. When I started out, I learned how to book tours by watching YouTube videos and listening to podcasts. You can do it too, and I want to help. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you can sell out a show in your hometown. Start by playing shows locally and regionally, and then building relationships with bands in those markets. We'll talk with bands who have had success in becoming touring artists, tour managers with great advice for running a business on the road, and booking agents on what they look for in potential clients. The sixth and final core principle is selling merchandise. This is the secret to success when it comes to making money as an artist. We'll be exploring how to build other sources of revenue, but this should be your focus early on when royalties and performance fees are relatively low. To put a framework around it, if you have a thousand dedicated fans that will spend $100 on merch each year, that is $100,000. Listeners can expect to hear from industry professionals on how to level up your merch game. Learn about the best e-commerce platforms, how to print on demand with drop shipping, and how to leverage your profit margins and cash flow. I encourage you to subscribe to this podcast, subscribe to our weekly newsletter for tips and tricks on what you can be doing to get farther, and I hope you tune in to the next episode of Your Band is a Brand. I am your host, David Key. Thank you. <laughs>